Okay, uh, hello, um, Andrew. You know, I have a problem because my car had broken. I don't know Krakow because I'm from Poznan, and I don't want to pay any any auto service because it's too much. I'm thinking of making a call to you because I don't know you, you know me, but I'm also thinking about using my connection with your connections by Facebook, by social, to meet, to be better to know me better, to know you better, because you, you know better the city, you know better where to find a mechanic, and you know better where, where is the good reputation. I think I have a solution. We can make a social signal, social signal service, not a platform, but a, a mobile, a mobile tra transition call that is used to communicate people who are using, not smartphones, but easy phones, yeah? And, Everyone can touch each other and connect for a cause, yeah? My cause is car. car. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Guys, could you do, you... do you have anything you'd like to uh, comment on? So, so essentially, it's a, uh, it's a mobile... Uh, I mean, mobile application where you allow... Where you say, like, it's okay for... for like, you pretty much, like... Adding your mobile number, like your 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 phone, like your number, to the network, and saying it's okay for the friends of friends to call your number when you're in need, even if you're using like a hard, like a old Nokia. Yes, I'm thinking about something like we are used to social network, and we have friends, yeah, we have connections, uh -huh. and I don't know people from here, but I know somebody from my society knows you, yes, you know, mm -hmm. and we are. I'm looking for some some way to get information about the area I'm looking yeah. and the cost I'm looking and I'm also thinking about not smartphones. Smartphones are good. There are, there are much. There are very applications. I'm looking for. Uh, I'm doing <coughs> an application for old phones. Like, like you can talk to somebody else on the other side. That mm -hmm. that's not that's not the answer to the cost. My cost was a car. Yeah. Okay, okay. I like this. Yeah, how would that work? Like, if you have the old Nokia, I was thinking about some uh, auto call. Social emergency call. What? Social emergency call. Yes, social emergency call. Like, I'm yeah. I'm, I'm calling for to to not maybe for a person, but a computer. Yes, I'm calling like, hello, I need help. My car had broken. I'm in Zakopane. I don't know where, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm near Podbaranami, okay? So can, hel can anybody help me? Okay. The voice recognition, the, the, the point where, there, you know, better is... Yeah, you can also text probably, right? Yeah, all, all you can text, yes. And, you, and the system knows where are you. Uh -huh. It's about, I don't know, 100 meters, yeah, the area. And someone... Do the old phones have location thing? No, 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 <laughs> not, not. But BTS stations that you are connected with, yeah, oh, okay. that has, has about 100 meters recognition. Okay. So it's about, I think it's, it's a good. If you don't know, if anybody will call, you can also, I don't know, give him a, where are you? You can, yeah, okay, <laughs> sorry. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you, you, you don't I, want to I give was feedback. Just say, okay, go like, ahead. Um, like Twitter solves a lot of that problems in many cases, in the sense that if you're stuck in your car, and I've seen cases where you could be pulled over, but I was curious to know if it was going to be opt in or opt out, <laughs> if you were part of like a six degree, because otherwise your phone would beep or go off all the time. So how how would you have a trust network that you would opt into with privacy and things like that? That's just would be kind of my my questions, but. Okay, but let's try to limit the, the number of questions, oh, yeah, okay? Sure. Let's just uh, say that I didn't actually un understand what you were saying or something like that, okay? <laughs> Good. So uh, the, ne the next one is Racing Live. I believe it's you. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Michael. Not Michael Schumacher, but the other one. Uh, and me with my friend Lukasz, we created a, a web game. It's a motorsport management uh, web game, and it is called uh, RacingLife.net. And we created it because, uh, because we know that there are uh, no such a game on the internet. Uh, we are motorsport fans, 
uh, we like management games. And sadly for us and for uh, over uh, 300 million motorsport fans, there is no good game on the internet. So Racing Life is there to, to change the situation. Um, we had already beta tests. We, we got feedback from uh, people from 45 uh, countries. And the positive feedback, uh, valuable feedback. So now we're looking for the people uh, that will help us to, uh, to make our game better, to add some entertaining functionalities, and to become the best management game over the internet. Thank you. Uh, okay, I know you are doing a game, yeah. a sport game, and you are a sport fan. What is the game about? It's a motorsport game, a motorsport management game where uh, you can manage your career as a driver and as well uh, become a manager that will hire other players that are okay. drivers. So it's a, a social uh, background uh, game with some innovative uh, gameplay scenarios. It's like imaginary football? You can No, no, no. It's a. Uh, it creates own uh, world, own racing world. It's not like uh, other Formula One management uh, boring games. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> it's more interesting. The, it's the bigger, uh, bigger uh, racing world. Not only Formula One. I think it's a really good idea with the faces. I, I notice you when I enter. It. Yeah, thank Great you. idea. Good, great marketing. <laughs> and uh, I heard one question. Can I answer one question? Because I've heard someone. Can you repeat the question? Sorry, I was just asking if it's like the football manager. There is a game where you manage the football club. Yeah, football management games uh, is uh, when you are um, managing the football team. And in this game, you are managing a uh, racing team. Uh, but you are managing real people, not not virtual ones, because you can be a drive also a driver in this game, and uh, and manage your driving career. But drive. Yes. Okay. Driver as in city race me, like where you can actually no, no, drive drive. You're no, uh, no, it's not. Take the bus and race the city. <laughs> no, but when you're, okay, when you're ma not managing uh, yeah. virtual people but real people, like what does it mean? Like real drivers? Yeah, I know what you're asking. Uh, yeah. uh, you don't drive actually. Uh, it's not a simulator, but you manage your driving career. So you uh, you do the trainings, you you prepare setups for for, for racing, and okay, okay. and uh, it's a uh, managing your career. So yeah. the drivers are other players. Yes, drivers are other players, not, and. Not in yeah, in the game, and uh, and they can become manager later on after. It sounds pretty virtual still. <laughs> yes, it yes, it's a game. It's still a game. Yeah, thank you very much. Great. Uh, can I have uh, Nagroderek PL now on the stage? Awesome. Okay, imagine that you browse internet, you get something for free, and the way you do that normally is you try to find a contest, but most of the contests you get are either complex or you have to pay to participate, and they're not in one place. And also imagine you get your own business, you're trying to find a unique way to advertise. So, Nagrodarek PL is a place where it brings those two groups together. Basically, it's a portal where companies advertise for running contests. And it's great for users because uh, all the contests are for free. They're only one place and the uh, rules are very simple. For companies, it's a new, unique uh, marketing channel uh, where you can create any contest and put like, any award. Could be your product, your service, or any uh, gadget that people will like. Get back to your site and uh, build a connection with your brand. Yeah, and we are live since uh, three weeks and now we're looking into getting more companies into the portal and more users. Thank you. So I would look at a company called Causecast, which is doing this for nonprofits, uh, where you can have activities and uh, and earn points and charity donations uh, for your activities. So I would check them out. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm 
Yeah, I, I think I've heard of of companies doing. I, I'm like I, I don't remember the names, but I would. Do, do you know of any competitors? I guess that's well, the question. Um, I know one similar portal. It's based in the US. I think the name is Lockers. dot com. But you only found that uh, it's uh, it's there once you created our portal. Yeah, yeah. that's not you know that's. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's. You shouldn't it's be actually saying that. Yeah, but yeah, it's a tip for. <laughs> yeah, but slightly different. It's, um, it's a similar way of doing things because you collect points and then you can exchange it for gifts or for awards. Uh, so still, our idea is pretty unique. I forgot to mention that it's actually a contest, so the winner of this pitching contest will get tickets uh, to the Krakow Startup Weekend, which will happen in January, and also a mentoring session with some really cool mentors from, from Krakow. So uh, can I have uh, Andrzej Błaszczyk here on stage to pitch? Cool. Okay, three, two, go. Hi, I want to share a secret with you. Online store owners can sleep at night. They are afraid of new things that Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos will put out from his magic box of innovation. The new things that will get new clients and close his existing clients in his ecosystem. Online store retailers can connect with us in only five minutes process and get access to our magic box of innovations. They can find their Facebook stores with fun discounts, mobile shops with location-based discounts, TV shops, and other cool things. Currently, we have helped over 1,000 companies, including Prost Magazine, Bloomberg Business Week Polska, and others. We are looking for opportunities to grow our business. Thank you very much for your attention. Actually, it's 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 good because you know you 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 mentioned some bigger brands. Prost, it's a big, it's like Polish news. I mean, there's also Polish Newsweek, but it's a big uh, business magazine, and it's good. I mean, I'm always um, it's it's totally it it's, it's 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 totally unimportant. But like, I'm being really I'm being a real bitch about people saying Amazon in Poland. It's Amazon. It's important to know. It's the, you, that's how you like. It's like people saying. Uh, what, pe what people say? Uh, they don't say Google. They say <laughs> what do they say? Uh, Google or Google? Yeah, it's like it's not. Yeah, it's if you're in technology, it's not Google. It's Google, and it's it's Amazon, not Amazon. But um, it's just like I'm. It's it's totally irrelevant. It's, it's good, yeah, good, good for you. Like good, you close some nice deals. And <laughs> no, it's. No, no, I'm no. I I think this is. It's a good pitch. It's a good pitch. That's 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 the point. Yeah. Thank you very much for this yeah, important. I thought mention. it was. I thought it was a great pitch. The uh, so are you like white labeling for smaller entities to kind of match with Amazon? Is that the idea with social sites like Facebook, so that you're creating a gateway? Okay, I just want to make sure I understood. We are a gateway to innovation solutions for e-commerce. Okay. Because innovation is uh, riskful and uh, costly. We, we make it uh, yeah. really cheap, and we share the risk between a big number of shops. Okay. But I, I but do you know the white label? You know what like white labeling is. I'm afraid that yeah, if not exactly. You're, if, you're, um, if if they can brand it themselves, pretty much, right? If if they yeah, yeah I mean, so you I set up a shop and they don't have to do a lot of the tech or anything because you've already yeah, built it yeah. and they can walk into it but put their logo yeah. around it so it looks like they made it but you actually made the services and innovated for them. But okay. they make it pretty and white. You say white because it's a blank canvas. So. I see. No, it's a way to access uh, to the users in a new way, to give them some additional value. For example, on Facebook, you can integrate with social games, uh, and you can get, for example, uh, Facebook credits credits for uh, making an order, or get some discounts for uh, finishing some quest on your favorite social game. This is the access to all those mm, new innovative things. I, I think just one in. What did you say? It was in in. In uh, uh, what was the the, the 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 tagline you used? Innovative social uh, innovative solutions. Yes, innovative solutions for yes. e-commerce. Yes, it sounds very generic. I mean, it doesn't mean anything. It's like uh, everything is innovative in what we're doing here, and solution is such a. I mean, it, I would just 
make a better tagline because if I hear innovative solutions for e-commerce, then I'm like, okay, well. So I mean, and then there's what you're doing and the pros yeah. and the clients that you manage to like to close deals with, which is very, uh, which is like, which is great. Yeah, but there's a great there's a great blog post if you go to uh, the Harvard Business Review in the last two weeks. Uh, Dan Pallotta wrote a post about how people are using jargon um, and how it actually ends up meaning nothing. But but I thought you had a great pitch, so that's great. I, I also think this was a really good pitch. 60, second, 60 seconds is really hard to, mm -hmm. to explain what you're doing. And which is great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, can we have Łukasz Zjawiński on stage? Hello, my name is Łukasz. I'm a founder of GH.pl project. Uh, we all do shopping. I'm pretty sure uh, most of you do them at malls. Uh, here I had a story about buying a pair of jeans, but 60 seconds is hard. So, um, uh, what is this uh, all about? Uh, thanks to my project, uh, you will be able to do the online research uh, before you go to the shop offline. Um, you will be able to check the offer, news, promotions, get a promo code, or even discuss with shop. Uh, that's the one part. And the second part of um, <laughs> this project is uh, are shops, shops and uh, brands that are on, on in the malls. Um, they have a problem and they don't know how to bring more and more uh, new customers to their real shops. So uh, we can provide a solution for that. Uh, they can have a place uh, to market their products uh, online and to bring new custom cust customers uh, offline to their shops. Uh, so uh, the main goal of this project <laughs> One sentence left. <laughs> Uh, so the main uh, goal of this project is uh, to bring uh, malls and uh, shopping at malls to the new level by bringing them uh, online and mobile. No, it's good you said that because uh, is mobile the focus of what you're doing? Because a lot of people don't know until they're actually in a shop what they want or what they're doing. Uh, uh, mobile is that the focus of what you're? Are you building an app? Yes, we have also a, a mobile app. It's a web application uh, integrated with a mobile app, a mobile version of the website. Okay, and so will you be able to scan items that have a code? No. Okay. <laughs> but there is. Which startup just wants? Uh, yeah. Yeah, save up, save up. You, they're totally kicking ass in what you're trying to do, but they're. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. I so they they do the photo recognition at, in shop, and mm -hmm. you take a. I mean, as 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 long as far as I understand, that you take a picture of it, and it gives you all the online options, and give like yeah, it just lets yeah, you. Right yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I'm focusing on something else. Um, I'm, I don't um, like to run all over the shops uh, in mall, uh, but I, I have some time uh, to do the shopping. Uh, it would be nice to sit uh, at home uh, at my computer and check out what's new uh, in, the, in my favorite shop or maybe in other shops that want to encourage me somehow to step by and um, get familiar with their products. Okay. So. So why would you then even go to the shop and buy it in the shop? Why wouldn't you just buy it online? Uh, that's the idea. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's not something that uh, this this is not uh, this is not the online shopping. So uh, it's I, the only first supporting. sentence. Not sure what you said, but I was sure it's about researching online uh, off online and o and then go and then they and then go shopping offline. Offline. Yes. yes. But why would you do that if you can just click and pay and yeah. get it delivered? Um, it has to be uh, some kind of uh, mechanism that puts people uh, to the real shops, to the... Uh, they but c companies don't want that. They want people to buy online. It, it costs them money to have sales rep talking to people. They would rather have people sit in their homes and buy it online. Like, this is... If com if 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 com well, brands there's, a, there's a balance, because people do want you to be in a shop, because then they can upsell and do more for you. But 
I mean, I think there's a couple triggers where you should really look at what's happening in mobile space because anybody can do things on their phone now and you've got Foursquare that is looking at, you know, and is it Shopkick, I think? When you're, it's, it's launched in the US, but Shopkick, you can be in a Best Buy and you can actually be in one corner of the shopping center and it'll ping a coupon at you and, and trigger you to buy that TV that maybe you wouldn't have bought but you, they noticed you because of your location. So there's a lot of trends that are going that I, I wouldn't ignore because you, you're, you're gonna ignore a lot of customers, but, um, but it's an interesting space. I think it's a great space to play around in, so I wish you the best of luck. Well, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Uh, my name is Anthony. I've uh, owned a business in Poland for five years. I'm starting a new business, which is an online store selling products from China directly to customers in Poland. The products will be replica design of furniture, um, sold at a fraction of the price that furniture is sold for in Poland. I'm not actually trying to pitch, I'm looking for a web developer and a designer to build the site for me. <laughs> uh, ideally this will be a freelancer or a small agency, uh, but of course I'm happy to talk to anyone who's willing to uh, cooperate. If you want to know more about the idea, please come find me afterwards and I'm happy to chat more uh, and give you a quite a few more details. Thank you. Thanks. Any questions? <laughs> so I guess we could, we could have done it in the uh, announcement sections, but cool. <laughs> okay, can I have uh, Carol Kojimor? Uh, okay. Uh, hi, I'm Carol, and this is an iPhone. Uh, you might know it as a device to share your photos, uh, connect with your friends, uh, play games. I'm pretty sure some of you actually even make calls using the, using the device. Uh, we at uh, IS Synergy actually treat it as a platform to build hardware on. Uh, we're s launching with a barcode scanner targeted at logistics and warehouses. Uh, so basically how this works is that you add a bit of hardware here, a bit of hardware there, plug in some electronics, and you've got a pretty neat, pretty little device that's actually pretty cheap for B2B standards, very flexible and uh, easy to use. This is what we were aiming for. Uh, we actually have some other products in the pipeline as well, uh, and I hope you'll be interested in following up. Uh, thank you. So, um, my first, why, why would you need additional hardware to scan barcodes? You can just take a shadow, shot of it and process it. Uh, well, exactly. F actually, there's a couple reasons. Accuracy, speed, and feedback. Uh, for business, business reasons, when you got like 10 barcodes stacked on top of each other in different lightning conditions, you cannot afford to try and pinpoint the camera. Take, it takes five seconds. I'm not sure how they did it, but in like what, just in the uh, Apple Store in in the US, they actually scan it. But I, they also have some kind of something uh, added to, uh, on. I mean, they I'm they have additional hardware yeah. that's actually also uh, doubles as a POS terminal for reading barcodes. This is it was initially developed as a as a different company in uh, close cooperation with Apple. Uh, if I remember correctly, and uh, we're targeting logistics, uh, so it's simpler, it's a different use case. We would like to branch off into retail as well, but it's a bit more complicated right now. It's uh, not an easy task, and so far it's very, it's easy in the US, but in Europe when you get the chip cards and all that, it's uh, pretty difficult. So you're working only on barcodes, or you're also working on devices doing We've what, what we have uh, well this what I what I what I was talking about was our actual uh, product that's uh, nearing final stages of certification right now. We have uh, a bit more products in the pipeline as well. Uh, some of them are consumer targeted as well, uh, hardware stuff obviously. Uh, but this is not something I can actually talk about right now. So sorry. And it's just iPhone. Uh, well, pretty much uh, all iOS devices, so mainly iPod Touches. The iPhone is neat, uh, but the iPod Touch is actually something that's very, very nice for businesses because it's basically an iPhone that's just uh, three times cheaper. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, thank you. So these were all the pitches, so I'll ask the, our guests to confer and uh, decide who the winner is. And in the meantime, we'll have a few, uh, a few announcements. Uh, Edu Koala, I think they wanted to... Uh, <laughs> Edu Koala wanted to say a few words, uh, I think, about their progress, because they are the winners of the recent uh, Startup Weekend War, so... so uh, yeah, hello. Hello again. Uh, yeah, we won about three weeks ago a startup in Warsaw. Uh, I'm on. I'm. A, I'm not a key member, but I'm a developer. Our progress is getting near the stage of final uh, application. Uh, I can assure you that it will be great. Uh, the first, uh, the on the first January there will be an Android version and. I can assure you that the uh, Windows Phone 7 now is working because I'm the developer. So that, that's all. See, see you in educoala.com. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, there's one thing I'd like to announce, and that is, I don't know how, how many of you have already seen it, but uh, we started a uh, new section on our site, which is called Jobs at Startups. And it's basically a place where uh, if you were looking for a, uh, for a job at a startup, which I assure is a far different experience than working for a big established company, uh, then you can go there and, and look, at the, um, yeah, look, look at the ads. And uh, also if you're li like looking for co-founders, you can also uh, post your messages there. And uh, I don't know if Monika Konieczna, oh yes, Monika Konieczna is here. So she's the one moderating this thing and uh, she's the one who created it. So uh, go check it out and yeah. So that was me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now there will be a word from our sponsors, Fundacja Nowe Technologie. Can I have you? Yeah. They'll tell us a little bit about what they're doing. Okay. Dobry wieczór. Uh, good evening, Darius Woźniak, my name is, and uh, I have a pleasure to uh, spoke on behalf of uh, the sponsor of this event. Um, this is a New Technologies uh, Foundation, or in Polish, uh, te Nowe, te Nowe Technologie Fundacja. Uh, here is also the founder and the CEO of a, of a foundation. Uh, Marek Zieliński, please uh, see yourself. Uh, we are here pitching, uh, of course, you know, to, we would like to encourage you uh, here today to, to speak with us because we would, like to, we would like to find some new ideas, new uh, interesting ideas, also economically sustainable, so please, uh, uh, please do that. The, the foundation has started the, uh, the, the new project, Plantacja Biznesu, uh, which is uh, aiming at um, targeting about uh, probably about a dozen or so of, uh, new ideas interesting ideas related to the technologies so if you can if you if you are looking for the for the money but not only the money but also the, the business experience good business track record and uh, and the vast network of of business contacts you uh, I'm, I'm sure that you know uh, how how much how, how important it is so so i think it's it's uh, it's good idea to to talk to talk to mark to, to, and and me and also uh, the the project is uh, providing the not only the of course the money which is which is important uh, but uh, also the legal services, accounting services, some uh, some basic uh, <coughs> uh, business experience, which is sometimes uh, uh, also uh, in need for the, for the startup. So, so if you have a good idea, uh, also to maybe to pick up bra pick up brains, uh, please uh, please do that. The, the, the funding for the ideas for the for the new for the new um, projects are up to almost uh, one million zlotys. So. Of course, it is relative, but uh, but um, I think it is quite uh, quite nice money. So, so if you have any questions, please, Marek, he will he will answer all the questions. Maybe not all, like meaning of life, which is obvious, which is 42, as you know. But <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. And bef before we uh, give you the results, uh, there's one more uh, announcement, and it's a uh, like a very nice news from all the way from Silicon Valley. Jaromir, can you share the news? Hey guys, uh, I'm Jaromir Jawa from Topic Marks. Uh, guys, let me tell you, good things happen. Uh, as some of you might already know, 48 hours ago, I wait for it, sold my company in Silicon Valley. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. 
it was acquired by the, uh, by the third uh, biggest social network in the US uh, called TACT, TACT.com. Yeah. So guys, uh, let me tell you, uh, believe in yourself, trust your feelings, good things will come sooner or later, but they will come. Without your support, it wouldn't be possible. Thank you all. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. So let's announce the winners. So we, we thought, um, because we are also kind of indecisive today, so uh, we have actually uh, three uh, companies. I mean, one, um, I think we're pretty impressed by, we don't have the name of the company here, so, but Andrzej Błaszczyk, right? So he, yeah. So we will, um, so you will get the, the two, two hours, the, what is it? To the, the mentorship and uh, you. Yeah, you probably should announce it because you know um, where it is. We decided, because you know Marek Kapturkiewicz from Innovation Nest uh, and Kubak Shiv from Atteli and myself from Brightberries. Uh, we'll do two hours of mentoring session and we'll get uh, uh, a tickets to Startup Weekend in January. So we decided this was the, the best pitch. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> And the two runner-ups would um, that will get the mentorship, right? Because I think it's it's a, it's a matter of, of, of mentorship mostly. Um, will be the Racing Life and the IO Sin, um, right? Uh, so the yeah, the, am I pronouncing it right? Uh, IO Sin. But it's IO Sin.com. That's what it's okay. Sorry, let's take that. <laughs> That's what it says. Uh, yeah. So you know. Congratulations. Talk to me later and we'll decide how to do it. I think, well done, guys. It's not, I, yeah, I, it's very difficult to pitch anything in, thir in 60 seconds and being on stage. It's like really stressful. So, you know, we're like re re really stressed. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Um, okay, I, so yeah, having said that, we need to get out of here. So what's going to happen now? <laughs> No, no, let's just uh, go hit the bar, uh, get some drinks and get to know each other. And uh, yeah, we'll clean up here. So okay. thank you so much.